Black Sit Family, Black Sit Family, Black Sit Family. Welcome to the Black Sit Channel. And if you've never been here before, Black Sit is all about your repatriation, relocation back to Africa. Black Sit Family, this episode is all about us beautifying ourselves in an ancient African way. What am I talking about? Henna. Henna is something that has been used for absolutely centuries in Africa. And today, myself and culture and travel with Tete, we went to go and get henna up. So, where does henna originally come from? Henna is actually a powder derived from crushing the leaves of the henna plant. The earliest use of this plant dates back to the pharaohs in Africa in ancient Kemet over some 9,000 years ago. A pharaoh of ancient Kemet civilization is said to have used henna to adorn her body and beautify herself using the henna plant. Henna has many uses, including being a cooling agent, which is used during the summer to relieve the effects of intense heat, like heat stroke and headaches. Initially, the use of henna was limited to soaking hands and feet in its paste to retain body temperatures in times of intense heat. Gradually, people started to applying the paste to their hands and their feet and arms with fingers and the designs were made with the aid of tiny twigs or toothpicks. Henna treats various types of skin problems like ringworm, athlete's foot and also is effective in treating cracked nails. A comparable number of women use it as a substitute for nail polish which doesn't require any nail polish remover and also as a hair dye. The bark of the henna plant is known to be effective in the treatment of jaundice and some diseases. You can even use henna to do your eyebrows. Even though there are high quality hair dyes available in the market, natural products are irreplaceable. Henna is free from all sorts of chemicals and it's best to dye your hair, especially if the colour suits you. It keeps your head cool, it kills head lice and it gives a radiance that no chemical dye can. Also, a useful tip is while preparing the henna for your hair, you can add a spoonful of coffee or a cup of black tea to kill the reddish colour and deepen the maroon shade. Today, henna comes in cone-shaped tubes to make intricate designs. This ancient art of hands, feet and arm decoration now consists of thousands and thousands of designs including paisleys, geometrical or floral designs. It is still used within many different cultural groups including the Fulani and Mandinka.
please remember you can get your henna treatment done by going to John's and AB's hair salon in Kaloli on Kaloli Highway opposite Car Wash in the Gambia. Thanks for watching Blacksit family. Please, please, please subscribe to our channel by pressing that bell sign so you can always get a notification when our programs are coming up. And also give us a thumbs up, smash that like button for us and soon comments will be returning below. Thanks Blacksit family, we love you. One nation, one Africa. Thank you, Black Sit family. Please keep watching. Remember, follow your dreams. Purchase your tracks today. Just your tracks.